Hey guys, today we're going to use Affinity Designer to create this 3D-like text. So here I am in the new blank documents. Let's pick the type tool and just type Affinity or any other text you would like to use for this exercise. All right, here it is. We should modify the font, make it a little bit bolder. This kind of effect is usually used with like sports teams, esports teams, names and stuff like that. So let's keep it like modern and bold. All right, maybe this one. Cool. I need to modify the color of this. It need to be white with the dark stroke around, but I want the stroke to be outside. So switch it over here like this. All right, good start, but actually I want my text to be on the curve. So I need to create a shape that I'm going to use as the path for my curve. So here's the oval. I don't need a fill for this guy. I got oval and I got my text. I'm going to copy this text. Then I'm going to select the oval that I previously draw here. I cannot see it. I forget to set up the stroke. No problem. Let's select it now again and add stroke. Okay, it's here. Now I can just use text tool, click on the line and paste my text adjust red and green label to set the start and the end and here it is it's already on the oval i can modify the oval size to change the curve as well so that's nice let's bake this appearance convert to curves and here it is i don't need the basic one any longer i got my text bent on the curve nicely like this all right so we are halfway through it now just duplicate this one change color make it black move it we got all letters separately okay resize it i need this one to be smaller no outline let's place it around here maybe the dark one should be behind the white one so let's change reorganize the layers more like that All right, time to expand this shape. Okay, much better. And here it is. We expand this dark shape. So we got uh, extra like outline around. Everything is bolder, bigger, work perfectly as this 3d behind the main text all right what we can do next we can improve the quality of this by making duplicates of this dark layer of this black layer but first let's bake the appearance so i'm baking the base shape with the extension of it and now I got a duplicate that I can place somewhere in between, somewhere in between the dark black shape and the white shape. So I got like step in between that will help me to guide me when I like adding some finishing touches later on. So let's add one or two duplicates in between, between the first shape, the white one, and the last shape, the black one. So I'm just duplicating the black shape and the black text and placing duplicates somewhere in between to make this transition smoother. Okay, maybe one more duplicate. Let's try to add one more somewhere around here. You can use alignment tool to help yourself with alignment. Okay, so I got four duplicates of this black thing. I will need to 
ungroup them all just like this and now match them into one shape so i got just one shape now all letters with all four duplicates all together the last finishing touch i'm using not tool to remove unnecessary nodes like this so there are some unnecessary nodes let's make the lines smoother by removing them so just use node tool for this I click on the node I want to remove and then I hit delete on my keyboard. All right, so to make it smoother, just remove unnecessary nodes. Just few letters left, click on the note and then hit delete on your keyboard. You can also click and select multiple notes. So click and hold to make a selection around multiple notes. That's also possible. And here's the last letter in this text. Oops, I delete the whole shape. I didn't click on the note. I click on the shape. So I must undo using Ctrl Z or Command Z on Mac. A few more here. And again, I click on the light, not on the note, so be careful. And I think I'm good. I think now we got this nice dark shape behind the white text, giving us this fake 3D look. All right, let's select them all together. We can group them. I will use right click here on the layer panel and select group you can also use shortcut command or control g so they are all together now as one group we can position them in the center of this picture in addition let's use the shape rectangle shape to create some simple simple background here maybe blue color or maybe let's transition to the gradient radial gradient will do Let's modify the color of the gradient. All right, here it is, our 3D-like text. We can also add a layer effect now, a layer style, like extra shadow below. Over here, maybe move it down, offset this shadow overlay as the blending mode perfect all right so that's the way how you can create this trendy 3d like effect very very popular among esport teams and other sports team all right guys if you like this tutorial please consider subscribing to my youtube channel to see more tutorials like this one see you in the next one